Today is Monday the 5th of February. This marks 12 weeks and five days that I'm out. So this is the week prior. Um, just a little bit on my meal prep, on my leg day at Derriman in Pakenham. Um, a little bit of um, some relationship things that I was going through. Um, but I hope you enjoy guys. This is 12 weeks and five days out. I've just done my meal prep for the week ahead. So I have cooked up my chicken. I got tenderloins. They were on special at Woolworths um, for $5 something. Um, it's seasoned with paprika and I'm your flavor god pizza topper, just for something different. I've um, steamed some broccoli and I've made cauliflower rice that has paprika and curry powder in it for some flavor. So I'm gonna let them cool. Um, for a treat tonight, I've made a concoction of peas, no, they're not peas, that's corn, um, broccoli and the cauliflower rice. And I put a little bit of powdered peanut butter on top. So powdered peanut butter looks like this. It's a powder. And then you just add water to it and then it becomes that paste that you can see there. And one of um, the things I bought at Woolworths was a chicken. It was reduced to $3.95 so I couldn't resist. So my treat is going to be all of these veggies with some chicken on top. Um, so that's my chicken for the week, my veggies for the, for the week, um, I mostly eat beans, so I buy frozen beans that's frozen, and then I just add to it as I go, I bought some salmon because that's my dinner meal, um, and then I still have some rice left over, and um, mince as well so I switch between mince and steak for some of my meals um, so that's just my meal prep that I've done so it's not that exciting I make it as easy as I can um, as I wake up in the day I make my breakfast and then I prep my three morning meals and then I cook dinner so um, I'm prepared for the week ahead Just finished up at the gym. Um, I'm not supposed to be training, but I went for a really light session and focused on my rear delts. So um, that will help, help my posture and pull my shoulder blades back and um, reduce my rolling forward and my neck pain and back pain. Um, funny story, look at this. I wore them back to front the whole session. I was wondering why that felt funny. So it's Saturday and I'm at work. Paul, I'll get back to work very shortly. Um, so I started with this chair. The last six months, it's this chair that's given me grief because when I sit on it, elbows, neck down. So the old stereo was like, get a chair with no arms. So I've been sitting on this one, but I don't feel like I my posture's right with it. So today I sat on the exercise ball but now my arms are too high and I'm like shrugging. And so now I'm standing and I've been texting like this with my neck up. I am so paranoid of this pain. I don't want it to come back. <laughs> I've just figured it out guys. I am a legend introducing the box. I'm a short ass and all I gotta do is look ahead and I'm looking eye level with no back pain and I'm standing. 
amazing back pain be gone. Today my roommate and I are going to Derrimitz in Pakenham and uh, we want to check out some gyms so we're going to go down there. Today's weapon of choice, Total War. I don't usually take pre-workout because it makes me bloated. Um, so here's the leg day. So we made it to Derrimitz, we're going to do some legs today so I might show you a few exercises that we choose to do. So we're going to start with handy pills. You've got to figure out how to use seat first. I think that's going to have to do because I don't know. That's way too much fun. Hey, so it's Monday morning, just got back from the gym, just doing really light weights for the back of my shoulders to try and pull my shoulder blades back and fix my neck pain. Um, I don't know really what to say, like, no journey is easy. Um, I think we're faced with challenges in our life to see how badly we want something and how badly we want to 
work towards something and it's really important to surround yourself around like-minded people people that support you um, just having a rough time with particular relationships in my life It sucks that sometimes you might have to make a decision um, I think you gotta be around people with the same mindset people who want to grow and have drive and ambition um, because that's who I am I want to focus on my goals and strive for bigger things and focus on my future and that's what I'm setting up right now um, and it's important for you to be around people who are sure of themselves and are confident with who they are and know their values and know where they want to head and yes living in the present and in the moment is so important because we'll miss out on all the or creating memories um, rather than always focusing in the future um, but that's what this journey is all about for me and like relationships can be quite difficult I don't know what to do about it or how much I can say because life's meant to be enjoyed and meant to be Ugh. life's too short and you've got to be happy doing what you love and it's really hard when I'm doing what I love and the person that I love is just not on the same level mm. anyways I don't really know what to say because it's quite personal um, but I want this to be real and honest and let people know that we all struggle and I'm gonna keep striving and keep pushing but it's not easy right now it's really not easy so I might go for a walk and see if I can clear my head when you get up to go to the gym and then it's just not going to happen you get sick and you have to call into work it's Tuesday and it's not a good day I'm currently sitting on my floor in my bedroom because I don't have an office um, I'm actually writing down all my goals on the floor in my diary for my business. Um, yesterday was a really, really shit day and I wasn't feeling the greatest, um, mentally or physically. Um, so I had a rest day. Um, it was also my partner's birthday. So, um... It sucked because I couldn't feel the best for his day. Um, I did get better in the afternoon and we had a cake and that we got from Woolworths. It was just a cheesecake, but um, he enjoyed his day, which is the best. Um, but I do still feel um, a bit down about some choices and decisions to make from the last few days. Um, 
that's why I'm sitting on the floor writing down goals. Um, when I focus on my business, that actually does cheer me up a lot. Um, I will admit that it is hard though, it is really, really hard, um, especially trying to be happy in the job that I do. Um, sometimes I really do need time out to just chill and be. So after I felt like I felt shit yesterday, a um, bit sick, um, I tried to nourish my, my mind with, you know, a Radox bath um, and literally just chilled. I didn't go to the gym or anything. It wasn't meant to be rest day, but I just took it. Um, so I'm, I am feeling a little bit better, but I'm not 100%. And I think the point of this um, part of the video is, you know, I just started writing down my goals. You know, I'm on the floor. Of in my bedroom, the bed's not made because I can't be bothered. And on here, it says, um, I'll have to edit that part. It says, My goal is on more online clients and create the spare room into an office and work for myself. So, they're my goals, and hopefully, um, I'll be able to achieve them. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just letting you guys know that sometimes we do struggle. Um, even when I was at the gym this morning, I didn't, I went for a walk, like a really leisurely walk. Um, and I hardly, like, and I've got still got to fix my rear delt, so I can't go heavy. So it feels like I'm doing nothing, but I'm trying. <laughs> um, but maybe I'll check in with you guys later and see where I'm at. It's Friday morning and I'm off to do my posing with Rach. Um, and it's a check-in. Um, it's officially like 13 weeks and one day today. So let's go to Derrimitz in Airport West. So I've literally just driven out of my road to my house. And it's taken me at least 15 minutes just to drive a kilometre. It is now, I think, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock. And I need to be in Airport West by 7.45 and I highly doubt I'm going to get there because I am stopped I'm getting nowhere so these are things that happen in prep you might have to rebook and reschedule and um, acknowledge that school's back so the traffic is bad so if anybody on a contest prep tells you that they don't stop up up with their nutrition I assure you they're lying um, I'm not making excuses for myself but I absolutely know why I'm craving this I had pretty rough sleep I was up really really early um, so I'm feeling tired and when I'm tired I actually crave carbs because there's an issue there with um, feeling um, sleepy cortisol's high so I just ate this protein bar, 127 calories. I my fitness powered it. And then I just ate this protein bar. So I have eaten it. Now I move on. And that's all there is to it. Until next time, let's hope I don't eat any more protein bars.